I've got a Electrolux front loader washer here and I'm going to show you how to go about a basic cleaning of it. Um, we usually do this about once a month or two just to make sure that it doesn't get all stinky inside like a lot of front loaders do. Um, I'm going to take you through cleaning out the soap tray, then the door and door seal, and then going through a cleaning cycle on the washing machine itself with a cleaner in it. Um, first, as you look, ours is not too bad here, but um, you'll see you get start to get some crud and black gunk build up here on front loaders every once in a while. If you push under here, the whole soap tray will slide out. And there's kind of two areas you want to clean. Um, you want to take like a rag with some bleach and just kind of wipe off. Sometimes it gets dirty on the top of this inside here. And then the other thing is you want to wipe off like the back of this soap tray here. And then just underneath each of these individual trays you'll see a little bit of gunk there. but. This is pretty easy to do. We usually do this at least once a month, maybe even more often with just a paper towel or something. Okay, I've got a bucket of some bleach water here. Um, just did a mixture, about a quarter cup of bleach to half gallon of water. So I'll just look on the side of your bleach. It'll tell you what kind of a mixture for general purpose cleaning. But I just use a little paper towel here and just kind of Get everything all wiped off. All the mold and gunk that builds up on here. Mold and soap, I think. Mold's not good. Bleach will take care of it right away. If you have any on there. Get underneath here. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue and wipe the whole thing down. Now the more often you do this, the less gunk will be on there each time, but the other thing is, you know, you think of all this mold and dirt on here and all that water is going right through into your clean clothes to wash your clothes, so it's best to keep the soap tray very clean. In my opinion, it's one of the disadvantages of having a front loader machine is that it's a bit more maintenance cleaning all this stuff. Another thing you may want to do is you probably want to be wearing rubber gloves when you're working with bleach. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing with no rubber gloves. Okay, so now I've got the soap tray itself cleaned out. The next thing I'm going to do is wipe out inside the top of this soap tray slot here. So ours isn't too bad right now because we do this regularly, but if it's never been done before, you probably have some buildup of gunk up here too, so get this all wiped out. Finally, now the last thing I'm going to do is just kind of clean up a couple dribbles around there. And it's good to clean out this door seal here. As you can see, it gets a buildup of gunk and mold and stuff right behind the seal um, and underneath here. Pull this back, you'll see there's a lot of gunk under there. I'm just going to wipe this out quick with bleach. The other that. thing you want to get here is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but you can see there's a build up right in here on the glass or on the door. Um, as that gets built up, it'll eventually make a poor seal and start to drip a little bit here. So you want to wipe that off regular on a regular basis too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that with my bleach solution. As you can see, even after I cleaned it, there's still there's still some black spots in the gasket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some paper towels, um, get some rubber gloves, soak some paper towels right in bleach and just let, set them right on there to soak for a bit. There. 
get it on there good where the seal touches and it will help it from leaking. Now since my original wiping down didn't quite get all the black gunk off, um, I'm just going to take a couple paper towels here with some rubber gloves now. I'm just going to douse them in some straight bleach here just a little bit and get them good and soaked. And then I'm going to just go ahead and make sure this gets wiped down with straight bleach. Um, that may take the rest of it off. And usually it's pretty bad underneath of this main seal here. So I'm just going to take this dulse paper towel and I'm just going to let it soak underneath of here for a bit. Okay, and I'll just let those paper towels sit in there for an hour or two. Hopefully that'll clean it up. Okay, so I've let these rags bleach soak on here for a bit. I'm just gonna get everything wiped down here real quick. See if I see if I can get something clean here. Now as you can see Kind of mostly clean. There's a little bit, little spots here and there that I didn't quite get, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. And if you wanted to get it really clean, you could probably soak it again or a little bit more overnight. So the last thing I do is I run this Tide washing machine cleaner through the system on this Electrolux, I run it through a system clean cycle, which I'll show you how to do. Um, otherwise, if you don't have an Electrolux model, um, you can follow the directions on the back that tell you what cycle to run it through. Um, the Electrolux will have a special system clean cycle, and to access that, you have to turn it on and put it on the hand wash cycle, and then you'll start it, and as soon as it starts, You'll hit cancel, and then we'll start it up again right away, and then press and hold the eco-friendly and control lock buttons for five seconds. And then it should, there, as you can see, hopefully you can see that, um, it opened up the system clean cycle, and then you can go ahead and start that. Now, when you run this, um, you do not want to have any kind of clothes at all in there. And what we do is we just, and you want to, you also want to remove all of the trays out of here. And you'll just dump the whole packet into the soap bin here and then start it and let it run. Now another option, um, if you don't get the Tide wash machine cleaner, you can run a couple bleach through here. That'll do about the same thing. I found that the Tide wash machine, washing machine cleaner actually you know, has a better smell on it than bleach and it smells fresher when it's all done. Um, I got that emptied in there and we'll go ahead and start it. And that's about it. It looks like in 41 minutes we'll be complete. Now the cycle has completed. Um, we'll open it up here and take a look. Um, looks all clean. The gasket gasket looks about the same as it did um, after I cleaned it with the bleach. But yeah, if the bleach doesn't get it fully clean, then that other stuff probably won't either. But um, it does have a fresh smell to it. Now, one of the yeah, keys to keeping it smell fresh is to when you aren't using it, just leave the door open so it will actually air out. That helps it a lot. Um, front loading washer is completely sealed off, whereas the top loader is not sealed off so the air can ventilate um, so keeping the door open will help prevent it from getting all nasty and stinky in the first place so that's what I recommend so hopefully this has helped you learn how to clean the washing machine and go ahead and see the link below for uh, the best price that I've found on the uh, Tide washing machine cleaning packets thanks for watching